Hi, I'm Dave Owens, Garden Guy. Hey, guys, we're out in Payson, Arizona. Take a look at these tomatoes. These guys are almost six foot tall. You can take a look at them, and I've got the folks that can tell us the secret on how to grow these tomatoes. In fact, Lori and David are over here. Lori says, well, she's a salesperson. Of course, David, you're the big grower here, aren't you? Yes, I am. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're looking at with these tomatoes? Uh, well, uh, we build our soil over time. Uh, this is probably about five years old, This the soil is. And uh, yeah, we feed them compost tea, strictly organic. Um, and they do well. They do do well. In fact, take a look at these cages, folks. These are specially made. Obviously, you like to cage your tomatoes. Tell us the reason you do cage your tomatoes. Uh, to keep them off the ground, to keep the bugs from eating the tomatoes themselves. And uh, it makes it easier to pick. And, Lori, come on over here. I know you want to do some talking here. What kind of tomatoes are these? This year we are growing uh, particularly just our steakhouse. We've had a wonderful success. Our largest last year was two pounds. Uh, we have grown in the past a lot of organic heirloom tomatoes, including Cherokee purples. And uh, we just decided to be spare back a little this year and grow the steakhouse because it had such luck last year and growing at and selling at the farmer's market. At the farmer's market down there in Payson. Now, yes, let's talk a little bit about these tomatoes. You've got these guys upright. How long ago did you plant these? We start from seed in January. Everything is home germinated. Um, they have been in the ground since late March. And we will be selling at the market probably in a week to two weeks. A week to two weeks, which puts you about in, well, late July, early August. Correct. And, David, tell us a little bit about these buckets down here. You were telling me how you water and why you don't water with city water. Or if you do, you got to do a little change up, don't you? I use city water. I like to bleed out the chlorine before before I give them to the plants. Um, and that may, means basically want that chlorine to evaporate off prior to actually using the water on the tomatoes, right? Yes. Okay. How long does that take? Uh, it takes about six hours. Okay. And we got to wrap it up here real fast here. So you make your own compost. You do your own compost tea. What else do you use to grow great tomatoes? That's about it. That's it, really? That is Tell us it. just real quick, how do you make your compost tea? That is a question for David. Okay. David, you're last up. What's what going we on? do? We make it in 55-gallon drums. Uh, I use a an old shirt uh, as a tea bag, and I add a little bit of sorghum molasses and brew it yeah, with the uh, aquarium bubblers. And that's the air rocks or air stones, folks, for those yeah. those people that know that. Okay. Yes. And uh, how long do you brew it for? After about three days, it's ready. It's ready. Okay, so there you go, folks. Two things, building your own soil and using that compost tea. Of course, staking them up, getting them off the soil, and you're on your way towards great-looking tomatoes. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.